Hi guys! I'm back with another Sephora mini haul. And the reason why I'm doing this, I actually just did one, is because I forgot like a load of stuff. I don't know. I like had picked a few things that I was like, oh those are important, but then I went back through and I was putting them away and I was like, what? I like totally forgot to do like all this stuff. So I was like, I'm just going to do another mini one. And anyway, if you like these, let me know down below. Here at the button down below that says like. Um, also, if you feel like I'm not doing something or not telling you something or moving around, I'm new so I could totally use your help. Um, let me know in the comments below. Just type me a little polite comment. Um, that would be wonderful. So I'm going to get right into it so I'm not here forever. Um, the first thing I got and I wanted to show you guys is this cute little NARS pack. And um, I am so I was so excited about this. This is a little um, set. I think maybe this could even be leftover from like Christmas time. I don't know. Um, but this is a set of three NARS products. It's a um, nail polish, a, a lip gloss, and a blush. And I'm going to take these out and show you guys. I don't have this one on. This is um, part of their orgasm set. I think that's the color collection, or maybe that is the name of the colors. This one is. Um, too tiny for me to read. I'll write it in the comments below, but right now I can't read it. It's a very beautiful, shimmery, um, it's so pretty. It's like a soft, I'm going to open this for you, maybe you can get a better um, idea if you see it that way. Soft, peachy, coral with tons and tons and tons of gold sparkle. It's so pretty. Um, I really, really like that. And I actually like this little size bottle. It's just a little mini. I really like these because I rarely use, oops, sorry, it got dark. I rarely use an entire bottle of um, nail polish because usually I kind of get tired of the colors and then I <laughs> throw them out. So anyway, the second thing is this NARS lip gloss. I am wearing it now over another product that I'll show you. Um, in a minute. It's just a super, super light, pinky, baby, you know, like Barbie pink, baby doll pink. Um, it's so pretty. Um, it goes on super sheer. I'm going to show you um, on my hand. Forgive me, like I still have samp like I still have my, um, from my last video. Is that crazy or what? Hang on, I need more. Alright. So you're going to pretend that these are not on there. But this is the sample. It's just a very soft, shimmery, nice little pinky. It has a little bit of that coral glow that's like super popular right now. Like the orangey corals are super popular right now. Like everyone is using them. <clears throat> and so I can't really use those colors. They don't work well with my skin tone. So this is kind of my like nod to that. Like I'm kind of trying to be up on the trends, but I'm not because I can't wear that color. And then lastly is this tiny, it's so cute, little thing of blush. And this is in the color of Super Orgasm. Which, hello, it's like, who doesn't want a product called that? Anyway, it has a little thing on there. And I'm going to show you. This color is gorgeous. I'm trying to get my fingers out of the way so you can see. Isn't that so beautiful? And you can see all the shimmer. I have it on the apples of my cheeks today. And it just gives that soft glow. Um, it's just so beautiful. I'm going to swatch it for you too. I'm going to give you guys like a good swatch so you can see. Um, it's just like these two fingers have it. Like that very pretty, I don't know if you guys can actually see that. I feel like it's kind of looks not right. Anyway, it kind of looks like, I don't know, on this one it's better. You can see that soft pinky, peachy color that is so in right now and I feel like it is so pretty on just like the um, apples of my cheeks. I have a different color on the contour and stuff but I just feel like it's just so pretty. I really like that. Anyway, let me toss that out of the way. Okay, I bought three of these I'm super excited about. Um, one is a gl more glossy and I'll explain that and then two are like they're a different collection. But these are Sephora's lipsticks. I stinking love these products. I feel like, um, I don't, I'm not a huge 
lipstick gal and I haven't been a huge lipstick gal in the past because I feel like a lot of lipstick is so drying and I don't want my lips to be dry. So I um, have stayed away from a lot and I just love these. This first one is, um, this is the Lip Attitude in um, Star is the color and it is S16. Just gorgeous. Look at that color. Um, Again, on camera, I need to like, I feel like my camera is terrible and I apologize. It's like my, um, so that is the color. Isn't that beautiful? It's like a super, um, it almost has a little bit of coppery color in it, but it's a really good neutral. Like, look at when I turn it. It's so red. Isn't that funny? This is totally like the color it is. It's kind of, um, it works as like a good neutral, but it has like a little bit of a coppery undertone. So this is the one I'm wearing with the NARS color. And again, I feel like, um, sorry, I just want to go with it, that this is like my, um, my nod to the corally colors because I can't wear like a true coral. So like this on my lips kind of gives me like that um, feel. So I kind of feel like I'm in on the trend a little bit. All right, I'm going to move that out of the way. So that's the first one and that one was in Star. And this is Sephora's Rouge. This is actually a different line. This is like a more creamy, traditional like lipstick. And this is the color R19. It's, and it's called Charmer. How cute are you? Um, look at that guy. Isn't that so pretty? And this is just like an incredible, I'm going to swatch it for you. This is like a really beautiful, soft, um, whoop, wrong direction, um, like a nudie pink. Um, I'm going to show you right there. It's like, oh, I need to, it's just a very soft nudie pink. And especially on me, I have very dark pigmented lips. So on me, it's very much a neutral, but I mean, on somebody, it might be a little darker, but that is so beautiful. It's so pretty. It's like a very nice pink. Um, but it kind of like looks like that nude, like, so when you're going for that, like super dark eye and just like the nude lip, that's really pretty for that. This last one is lip attitude. I didn't realize these were the same one. And this is called Glamour. And I love this color. This color is gorgeous. It's like a purple. Oh my gosh. I can't tell you how much I love this color. I'm going to sample it for you. These lip attitude, I'm kind of getting a lot, are a lipstick, but they, um, and this is that one. Isn't that so pretty? I have it on like a weird, it's like let me swatch that a little better. Sorry, guys. All right. Well, I don't know. I'm not getting a good, very good swatch. But anyway, that's kind of that. <laughs> it's definitely on the purple side. I mean, look at it. It's just definitely... I'm sorry. Let me show that for you. It's definitely on the purple side. It's a beautiful color on. It's so pretty. These um, lip attitude ones that I thought maybe... I, I thought I only got one. I must have gotten two. This is, looks like a different container to me. Um... Oh, I had the wrong one. Anyway, these guys, the Lip Attitude, are more along the lines of a gloss than a, a true lipstick. Like they go on more with like a shimmer and they're sheerer. So they're not you're not gonna get that like um dark color. But I really like them and I think they're twelve dollars at Sephora. I feel like um they are in line with a lot of the higher end lipsticks. I really like them and I feel like for the price it's so good. So it's somewhere in between like a super high end lipstick and like a drugstore lipstick. And I feel like every drugstore lipstick I've I've gotten, this is just a personal thing, like I just haven't loved them. And so, um, but I love the Sephora ones. I just feel like they're such a good value. Um, I got two more things. Um, I'm going to do this one real quick because it's not as, uh, the last one I'm super excited about. I got the Kat Von D's. Are you seeing this? Kat Von D's in Saint. Um, I don't know if you can see that. I'm kind of like blinding you. Anyway, in Saint. And I just got the Rollerball. Um, I think this was $19. I think I will write all the prices down below for sure. Um, it's so cute. It's just like a little, I'm like you're, we're glaring. So you're not going to get a good. It's just the little white ball, Rollerball. And it smells so this fragrance is very sweet and not super um, perfumey, not not floral at all. It's very sweet. Oh, I don't know. I love it. And um, 
the reason why I bought the rollerball and not a larger one is I have, I'm funny like that and I have a tendency to, I really will like a smell and then I kind of, I start using it and then I'm like, oh, okay, I kind of am over it or I don't like it anymore. So I usually don't invest in large containers of anything, <laughs> large bottles of anything because I will, by the time I'm usually done with like this, I will be done with the smell. I probably, I very rarely rebuy the same smell because I just, that's just how I am. So, um, anyway, the last thing I got, and I like, I'm so excited about this product, and I'm going to do a review soon if you're interested in hearing about it, but this is the Jos Jose Marin, or Josie Marin, I don't know how to say that, um, Argon Oil, it's an Organic Argon Oil Moisturizer, and um, it is 100% organic, and it comes in the little um, bottle with a dropper, and I am... Um, and so you just drop on as much as you need. And I am using this as my current moisturizer. I am super excited to um, get like a good month of using this product so I can kind of see how my skin reacts to it. But from all the things that I was reading about this product, it kind of seems like almost too good to be true. So I bought a little one and I'm trying it. Um, but like I was reading, um, I have combination skin. I have a typical like 30 something skin like where I had beautiful skin in my 20s and then like hit 30 and like went through like adult puberty I don't know like started getting breakouts and then of course started getting lines so I had like the worst combination of skin that you could have it was like having teenage acne and then getting fine lines so um I am super excited to try this this <clears throat> Excuse me. The reviews say that um, you can, you know, it's good for oily skin. It like helps diminish breakout breakouts. Sorry, it is um, also supposed to be like good for dark spots and fine lines, and it's supposed to even out your skin tone and even out your, you know, like the feel of your skin. Um, and so, I am so excited to try this because sometimes I feel like products they say they're too good to be like they're so good and then like you get them and you're like eh, it's okay but like I think there was on Sephora's website I think there was like 3,000 reviews for this product so some of you probably totally have it and you're like okay is this girl showing up so late to the party and the answer would be yes I just found this so um I am so excited about this if you use this product and you've used it for a while um, let me know in the comments below what you think about it because I'm so excited. I've used it for, I think I'm about a week so far of using this product and I really like it so far. So I just am anxious to see kind of how um, once my skin cycles through to kind of see like what's going on with that. So anyway, that's my last product. I'm so excited about this. Oh, and by the way, just um, some people this is really important too about this Argon Oil. It does not stink at all. I don't even, it doesn't really have much of a smell at all, actually. I mean, if anything, it's kind of got a little bit of a nutty smell. Um, but that's it. And it's like very, very mild. So it's not like um, some of those moisturizers that you use that are like heavy and they reek. And they, um, it's not like that at all. And actually, surprisingly, considering you're putting oil on your skin, it does not feel very heavy. So anyway, I'm excited to give that another few try or weeks, and then I will do a review on it if you guys are interested to see that. So anyway, thanks so much again. Hope you guys have a great day. Bye.